and welcome to FIU's Educate and Impact virtual event. My name is Dr. Antoinette Williams and I am a proud Faith alumni. At FIU, I received knowledge, experience, and was personally transformed for further advancing the Kingdom of God. I would like to thank the board, faculty, staff, students, and alumni who over the last 50 years have remained committed to strengthening communities through Christian education. We want to say thank you for joining us and we're so glad that you're here. During this event, you will hear from our team, students, and alumni, and we will give you the opportunity to partner with us to impact communities around the world. I want to now introduce you to my colleague and friend, Dr. John Wheeler. Hi, and thank you for joining us today. My name is John Wheeler, and I'm part of the team here at Faith International University. Today we want to share the purpose of our mission and to present some meaningful ways that you can strengthen and transform communities around the world. This work is perhaps some of the most important, especially in times like these. Today you will hear from some of our FIU family, how their educational journey has impacted them and their communities. The vision is to advance God's kingdom by equipping Christian disciples to influence and impact every area of society. Join us as we charge forward in united purpose. Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Adams. It's been my pleasure to be part of the Faith family for 32 years while serving as president for the past 14 years. Our goal at Faith International University is to offer opportunities for all types of students, whether they are returning to their educational journey after many years of being gone or just beginning out of high school. After 50 years, we have had over 3,000 students come through our doors and finish a degree. Nearly 80% of our students graduate and many return to complete another degree to further their education. We're hoping through your partnership that we can double the number of students who will graduate by 2024. It's important for us that we train people with a great education who also get them through that process in a timely and affordable way. I often use the phrase, less time, less money, because we want our students to finish their degrees as quickly as possible so they can then be launched back into their full-time ministry in the marketplace, in churches, in nonprofits, in mental health centers, or wherever their sphere of influence is. But also, we don't want them to have that burden of a large debt when they're gone. And we all know how expensive education can be. There's a lot of work to do in our communities and we need people who are biblically equipped with practical tools and godly wisdom to impact their own communities in this generation and in generations to come. We certainly believe in the principles of discipleship and the importance of discipleship. The example Jesus set for us teaches that the fastest way to impact a generation is through multiplication and relationships. Our degrees are built with these core discipleship teachings and principles in mind so that the degrees our students are earning can be applied in a very practical and impactful way. Another thing that makes us unique is that we have a Korean and Chinese department that serves students in their native language. We are Faith International University indeed. We also have partnerships agreements with organizations like Youth with a Mission, also known as YWAM, Every Nation College in Sierra Leone, Christ University in the South Pacific in Tonga, the Urban Ministry Institute, and churches from across the United States in states like Nevada, California, Washington, Texas. These partnerships not only allow for some of those students to receive a tuition scholarship, but also for them to transfer some of their hands-on learning experiences with those organizations as receivable transfer credits, which saves them time and money. And for YWAMers, it means that their college education begins when they start their missionary work and doesn't have to be put on hold until after they're done. They can do both at once. For church partners, it means their leaders can invest their gifts of teaching into their members who can then transfer some of that education directly to faith as credits earned. We truly want to train people well and then get them back out into their mission field as quickly as possible. Again, less time, 
less money. We would love your help in offering more scholarships to our wonderful partners and even creating new scholarship programs to broaden our outreach. We believe deeply in what we're doing here at FIU and we're honored to do this work. Your partnership is vital to the furtherance of the gospel. Hi everybody. Okay, my name is Mariah Coyne. This is Jeffrey T. Rainey in Mobile, Alabama. My name is Corey House, and I'm an alumnus of faith. Hey guys, this is Derek Mack. Hello, my name is Chris Hippie. My name is Pastor Brad Farhol, and I have the pleasure of leading the Lutheran Studies Program at Faith International University. My name is Harrison Dongo. I am from Kenya, and uh, I have been in FIU, Faith International University, since 2015. When I first came to Faith, I think that one of the biggest barriers uh, for me was definitely just feeling inadequate in myself. Um, it just pretty much came from, you know, thinking that I really wasn't that smart of a guy. I didn't think that I could do it. I didn't think that, you know, college is for smart people. And you know, Christian colleges is like for really smart Christian people who have a lot of theological understanding and knowledge of the truth. And I really didn't see myself as a smart person. I didn't see myself as intelligent. The biggest barrier that kept me from standing at Faith International University is the financial aspect. And I had tried for quite a number of years, but I wasn't able to overcome until when Faith International University came in and helped me with an executive scholarship. And therefore, since 2015, the school has offered financial assistance to me, and this is what has enabled me to come so far, until this time, I'm almost graduating with Masters in Divinity. I met Dr. Adams, uh, and he encouraged me to clean up what I had started. And listen to this, I had 39 credits that was out there for 25 years. Faith accepted 36 of those credits to help me to clean up what I have started. I appreciate that. We live in the most biblically illiterate generation than ever before. And I just saw the need and the necessity for us and our generation to take it seriously, um, to take the scripture seriously and to really see our generation reached with the knowledge of God's Word. And I know people like to say that they could do that on their own, or I don't need a seminary, or I don't need this, but really there is nothing like being able to interact with professors, go through material, be challenged, have your belief system be challenged, and you grow in the knowledge of God's Word. To be able to actually teach people, in our generation people want to know if you're real or not. And one of the things that they want to know is if you actually know something and have something to offer, and you've taken time to develop what you actually believe. So I just believe that in our day, seminary is so important. Faith International is an amazing university. Uh, Dr. Adams, Dr. Wheeler, and many others there are so amazing. Um, they interact with you in such a way that's so friendly and, and so inviting. It's really like family, not just like going to a, a structured school. There was, there was simply no other place on the planet that, that has the kind of dedicated faculty with the same kind of respect for scripture, regardless of their tradition, uh, whether they're Calvinist or Reformed or Lutheran, uh, as my tradition is, or Baptist or Charismatic, it didn't matter. Everybody had that same commitment to the scriptures, which means we all had a place to start from. With faith, your education is not a transaction, but it's focused on building a long-term relationship with colleagues, with professors that prepare you for an excellent future. They call me by my name and faith. You are not just a number. You are a name. You are a person. Uh, you are a part of a family and faith. 
I have applied the, the things I've learned in every area of my life, how to lay down your life as a servant, how to love others more than yourself, consider others better than yourself, and do nothing out of selfish ambition, right? That's what Jesus did. He was the greatest spiritual leader. And this, this leadership bachelor's that I got from faith taught me all these things. I was given resources to me, asked to read books and write papers, and really thought-provoking discussions about you know this idea of spiritual leadership and what does this look like in the in the world today and practically in family and in your personal life not just in the church and so it's changed my character it's made me a harder worker they the faculty really trusts you to get your work done they respect you as a an adult and as an individual and you know they challenge your your thinking and they challenge your academic skill and i really value that and i appreciated that experience it gave me a deeper appreciation for the history of theology, uh, for the practical application of theology, and all of that with a deeply, deeply committed uh, approach to scripture. I have found that the courses that I have been taking, how much they um, are brought into my current ministry, how my church body is edified by the edification I'm receiving, uh, in the coursework and I'm finding that if it weren't for some of these books that I am reading through uh, that are challenging me and causing me to stretch deeper into leadership that we wouldn't be uh, going to places as a church community that the Lord would want us to go. After Scotty Kessler and the School of Discipleship and, and just knowing that it was it was much bigger than me um, that not only did God call and equip but he also gave us a mission and seeing the Great Commission and viewing it from a new perspective, a fresh perspective, a theological perspective, an evangelical perspective, and the way that Faith International University views it and, and making disciples, um, it changed everything completely. So no longer was I interested in just knowing God and being intimate with Him for me. I wanted to make Him known and make Him intimate with others. I wanted others to have that intimacy that I had. As I left Faith, I went out into ministry and, and various other contexts. That was a wonderful preparation. Uh, I, I worked with colleagues all around the country and around the world, and, and I'll tell you, I don't think anybody has been better formed to carry the faith, the biblical faith, forward into the world than those graduates of faith. Faith International University has greatly impacted my spiritual work in the Lord and my calling in the ministry because like a mechanic who works on a car that has uh, a defective engine, he embarks into that work with the right tools. And therefore, Faith International University has given me the right tools that will enable me to be able to approach ministerial work uh, the right way and to impact the communities, and above all, to be able to win souls for the kingdom. And therefore, Faith International University has impacted in my own spiritual life to enable me to impact the life of others out there in community. Hi, I'm Mark Ridal, and I'd like to tell you how God inspired me to be a part of His work here at Faith International University. I've had a strong personal connection with faith since its inception over 50 years ago. You see, my father was its founder. His name was Pastor Reuben Ridal from Tacoma, Washington. Under his leadership and with strong convictions, Faith Seminary opened in 1969 as a small school to train new Lutheran pastors. My dad's vision, with the help of Dr. Michael Adams and many other dedicated individuals, has now grown and expanded into Faith International University and encompasses all denominations and believers. I'm here today because, like my father, I support our model for educating students in Christian principles to go out and serve others. For me, that's an important legacy to preserve. That is also why I have considered it a privilege
to serve God on the governing board of faith for the past 20 years. When you joined us today, most of you probably didn't know exactly what we were going to ask you in terms of your financial support. You might be watching this event because a friend invited you to or because you're already familiar with faith. Now that you've heard more about the heart and mission of our university and have met some of our students, alumni, and team members, it's my honor and privilege to invite you to be a partner with us. Our goal is to expand the reach of FIU and strengthen communities through Christian education by raising $100,000 today. By making a donation today, you will help provide scholarships for students, not only in the Puget Sound area, but across the nation and throughout the world. Your donation will help Faith to expand our program offerings, providing biblically-based Christian education. It will help all types of students, whether they are just beginning their education or are returning to school at a later stage in their life. It's easy to become a partner with us. You can make a one-time gift or donate monthly by clicking the Give Today button below on the event page. If you have any questions or would like more information on how you can become a faith partner, please join our virtual FIU lobby on Zoom at the conclusion of this program. The link will be displayed on your screen and a link is also provided on the event page. If you registered for this event, you will also receive an email later today detailing the specifics about scholarship opportunities and additional ways to think about partnering with us. We are immensely grateful for your donation in whatever amount and for your prayers and partnership. On behalf of the Governing Board, the FIU team, and our students, I want to sincerely thank each of you today for your time and interest. Let's welcome Dr. Williams now to conclude our program. Your support means so much to us here at FIU. Click the Give button below to make your donation. And if you have any questions, join our virtual lobby. Let's take a moment and thank the Lord for this great event and this great opportunity. And I just want to take a moment to just pray. Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity. We ask that you bless every person who has a heart to give so that we can continue the work of the Great Commission in Christian education. We need your blessing upon it. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.